Hey guys, it's your boy Jackie. I'm back on the video and today, if y'all cannot tell from the title of the video, we are here with my Cyber Monday slash Black Friday haul. So with that being said, let's get started with today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So with that being said, let's just get right into it. And to be honest, I don't know how much money I saved. I think this was really just an excuse for me to just buy things that I wanted and say I got a good deal on it because to be honest, I don't know how much money I really saved. Um, basically, the majority of things from Amazon and H&M just because for one, I work at H&M and it was just easy access because I had to work Black Friday. And then two, Amazon is just easy because Amazon, you could just buy anything you want. So with that said, we're just going to start off with, I guess, the clothing stuff that I got from H&M. So let's just get started with today's video. So the first thing that I bought was this hoodie from H&M. I don't know how well y'all can see it, but I got it for a couple dollars. This was on sale for $9.99. And yeah, it says fell. You know, good good hoodie, you know what I'm saying? You can't go on with too much hoodies. Um, yeah. <laughs> the next item we got from HM is going to be this sweater. Um, don't know how well you guys can see it, but it is going to just be a kind of beige sweater. You know, I said I want to change up my look a little bit, so I decided to get a little beige sweater go my soft boy era um yeah so i got me a beige sweater you know what i'm saying can't go wrong with it it's getting cold and, and yeah why not try something new especially if it's on sale the next item i got is going to be another black hoodie and it says harlem on it don't know how well you guys can see that but this hoodie wasn't on sale but h&m was having like 30 percent off and i had my employee discount so i was able to get this hoodie for cheap um but yeah i got a hoodie Another black hoodie. You can't go out with hoodies, especially during the winter and fall. So, yeah, got another hoodie. And then the last but not least item I got from H&M is going to be another sweater that I got from H&M. Um, yeah, another sweater. Black and white and gray. Um, like I said, I wanted to switch up my style. And this is the oversized look, so hopefully it looks good. Originally, it was like $57, but I got it for $25 plus the discounts and all that stuff. So yeah, I feel like this is definitely something that I don't have in my closet and it's definitely going to switch things up and hopefully it looks good and we'll see. And yeah, sorry, no try and haul just because I am lazy. And with that said though, I know I said that this was the last time I got from H&M. I did get a jacket thing for my dad, but I don't want to show it on camera because I just don't want him to see it because I don't think he's going to end up watching this video, but I just don't want him to see it because i wanted to ruin the surprise um but yeah with that said though a lot of the stuff that i did get um maybe a handful actually is for gifts for my parents that i'm not gonna mention or show um yeah just because i don't want them to see it um just because it might be they might see it they might not they're definitely not gonna see it Listen, my parents don't watch my videos but i just don't want to ruin the surprise for my parents and i guess i want to keep my personal life separate than my life that I want to show if that makes sense keep my social life social and keep my personal personal you know what I mean so with that said though the last two clothing items I did get though were also from the mall but it's from this local sports store at the mall and I got a really good deal because both of them ended up being like maybe $30 um, combined so with that said I bought me a Atlanta Falcons championship um, shirt this NFC championship shirt you know what I'm saying this was what in like 2016 when we made it to the Super Bowl and we lost to the Patriots. But it's really cool because on the back it has everyone on the roster. And I just thought it would be cool to admire in the future just because um, this is like the team that really got me into football, the team that made me love football from watching Matt Ryan to Julio Jones. You know what I'm saying? I started back when Riley White and Tony Gonzalez was on the team. But to support my team that made it to the Super Bowl, this team right here. Um, it's been a long journey, but I'm a brother die Falcons fan and yeah, I had to support my team. With that said though, the last item I got is probably one of the coolest items I got and that's going to be a Kobe jersey, a lower Marion Kobe Bryant jersey. If you guys can see in my background right there, I got the maroon one, but the maroon one was a little too tight on me. So I decided to get the white one as well. And Basically, I got this for $33, including this shirt. So I feel like I got this for a steal. With that said though, we are finally moving on to the Amazon stuff. So the next thing I got from Amazon, this is going to be a Polaroid binder. So basically, 
you know, I have a Polaroid. I have no clue where I put it. I just be putting it wherever, to be honest. But basically, I needed somewhere to put my Polaroid pictures because I have a lot of pictures. Like these right here are all of my Polaroids. I got a, a good little chunky chunk right here. Um, I got some more hidden around. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of Polaroids right here. You know, Sam stacked up. Um, so I have to find a home for my Polaroids. And I got this from Amazon. Don't know how much it is. Um, if you guys want me to put the link in the bottle, I guess I will. But yeah, I got a Polaroid holder for my Polaroids. And then so for the next couple items, um, it's kind of split up into two different sections. I bought one section, which is for my car, and then stuff for equipment for my career. Um, so the next two items are going to be stuff for my car. So the first thing that I got for my car is this seat gap filler. Um, basically, in my car, um, my phone be falling in that little gap and I don't want it to keep falling there so I decided to get this it was on sale and it's been on Shark Tank so I got a Shark Tank product um, so let me know if you guys want me to do another video where I buy a whole bunch of Shark Tank products and test them out um, but yeah I got this product um, hopefully it's good um, but yeah I just it was just random funny so I decided why not get it the next car item that I got is really important I needed a dash cam slash dash cam. I don't know why I said slash, but I got me a 4K dash cam just because um, people in Atlanta, Georgia, people in Georgia, Atlanta, people can't drive in general, not just in Georgia, everywhere. People cannot drive in general. So I decided to, you know, get myself a dash cam just in case something happens. God forbid something happens, but you know, it's always the best to be safe and sorry. So I decided to get a dash cam just because I did get a new car as well. So I want to make sure my car is protected. So I had to get this, you know what I'm saying? So I got a dash cam. With that said though, there are four more items that I want to show. And honestly, I don't know which item I want to start with. I, I, do I start with the bang or I just build it up and let y'all guess the suspense? Um, I'm, I think, I think I'm gonna let you guys get the suspense. So let's just open up our last four products. So to start things off, we got a SD card, a 250 gigabyte SD card, a SanDisk Extreme Pro. Um, I think it's also 4K, I think. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I just read on the back, it said 4K UHD video support may vary, but it supports 4K, I guess. So I had to get a gigabyte card, a uh, SD card. I don't know why I said that. Um, but basically I had to get another one um, just because y'all see it. And I need the one with more space because I want to start taking pictures and photos kind of seriously. The next item I got is going to be a 4K monitor for my camera. Um, the box is kind of open right now, I guess. So I guess, yeah, this is what it comes with the box, I guess. I don't know what this is. Um, but you know, we're gonna save that for another day. Um, but basically, um, I got myself a monitor for my camera. And basically, if you guys cannot tell, um, I want to start making short films or just taking my videos and make them more cinematic. And this is gonna help me out, so I don't have to look in the little small screen of the camera. I could look at a six-inch screen on top of my camera on the side or whatever. Um, so this is basically going to help me out um, with my filmmaking. So with that said, though, the next thing I got. It looks like a box, right? But um, I'll open up just a little bit if I know how to open this box up. Um, basically, if you guys know anything about new wear, um, it's just boxes inside a box. So yeah, I thought it was gonna show you, but basically if you guys don't know what uh, new wear is, it's basically a camera rig grip thing. Um, so basically it's going to be the setup where I could put my camera on top and I could set other things on top of it, such as the monitor, headphones, such and such, whatever. Um, basically, it's a camera rig grip. I think I kind of forgot the name. I'm off, I'm blanking off the top of my head, but basically this is gonna be able to help me hold the camera better, add more accessories, this and that and that, you know what I'm saying? So basically, those three products are going to help me become a better filmmaker as that's my goal and also not just filmmaking and photography uh, just want to be better and follow my passion and dreams so with that said the last and final product i got is a sony a7 IV. this is a camera that i've been wanting for such a long time a very 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 long time 
And this is the only product that I really know how much money I saved because originally this product was going for almost 2,700 and I think I saved either 200 because I bought it for 2,500. So I saved around $200 from purchasing this on Black Friday. So 200 is better than nothing. And this is a camera that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. Um, by a very long time, I mean by the beginning of this year, ever since my classmate um, had this camera and I saw his films, I knew this was the camera that I wanted. And after doing a lot of research, comparing this camera to the Sony A7 5, and like doing, and after doing my research and comparing it to the other Sony cameras, such as the Sony A7 5R, um, basically, this is the best hybrid camera for video making and uh, photography um, as I want to do both and I thought and I thought this is going to be the best camera to get me introduced into that so it's going to be a lot of learning curve um, but yeah this is a much needed gift for myself I worked hard for this and now I can take my quality to the next steps um, I'm basically going to be taking this with me everywhere. I'm going to do a hell of photography, hell of videography, make more cinematic stuff, and just go from there. So with that said though, I'm going to save the unboxing for basically all my camera equipment for another video because I feel like that should be a video of its own as I feel like it deserves its own light. And I don't want to talk too much and ramble too much, but yeah, I'm very excited to finally have a new camera. But yeah, with that said though, I got a lot of items for a lot of money um, and I'm broke now. Um, so the only thing I'm really spending on for the rest of the year is probably just gifts from my family, gifts from my mom, my dad, my sister. Even though my sister is not in the States with us and she isn't with us with the holidays, much love to my sister. Um, love you. Um, if you're watching this, I doubt you're watching this because you're probably living it up right now in Australia. She's on vacation. I'm happy for her. She's on cruises. I wish I was on cruise. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I might be going on cruises and stuff because I love cruises. I might be vlogging my experiences on cruises, you know what I'm saying? But with that said though, uh, that's basically all I have for this video as I bought a lot of stuff uh, from Amazon and I just bought a lot of stuff overall. On this table alone right now, we have 13 items, but I know for sure I bought a lot more items because the stuff that I didn't show because it's just basic household needs that I needed or stuff that I bought for gifts. So yeah, basically I went all out. You know what I'm saying? This is why you don't give me money. If y'all give me money, I just buy random things. But with that said though, this year I have worked very hard. I graduated from Kennesaw State University. Um, I've been working at my jobs very hard. I got promoted finally. Um, and I just been working very hard. So I felt like it was much deserved, needed gifts for myself. Um, but the job is not finished. So it's time for me to continue to keep grinding and continue to make my dream a reality. Um, this is just, helping me motivate me to do better. So I'm excited and I can't wait to see what the future holds. Now, especially with the camera, bro, it's it's only up, bro, it's only up. So I can't wait to show you guys what I have in store and now it's just time for me to take my words and actually start doing it. Um, but yeah, now since I have the camera, bro, it's only up, bro, it's only up. With that said though, I don't think I have anything else left to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Black Friday slash Cyber Monday haul and yeah. That's all I have for today's video. So with that being said though, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So subscribe, share, and your boy is out.